Go from Miami to New York City or London to Rome without refueling. Reach a top speed of 315 miles per hour and carry six people inside an uber luxurious plane that you can fly yourself. Thanks to all the advanced avionics. That's the Piper M600. But now let's take a more detailed look at this aircraft. You know, we all love our planes for different reasons. My plane gets me to places so quickly and also to places I could never get to commercially, said Lance Boxer, the proud owner of an M600. About four weeks ago, my dad was in a car accident. It happened on a Saturday night at 8 o'clock. And rather than looking for a commercial flight, I went over to my airport. I got on my plane and two hours later, I landed and I was at the hospital. I could have never done that commercially. You see, the reason to own a plane is not just opulence or showing others how much money you have. For Lance here, it was about having the freedom to live life on his own terms. Of course, this type of freedom doesn't come cheap, since the Piper M600 will set you back a hefty $2.82 million. Some might think that this is a rather expensive plane, but once you see what's inside, you might actually change your mind. Now, this plane could be placed into the category of very light jets. And the reason it's so popular is because the Citation Mustang and the Eclipse 500 need much longer runways while offering increased range, something akin to the TBM 900 but for a fraction of the cost. This particular model was introduced in 2015 and it received FAA certification on June 18, 2016. But the saga didn't start there. The M600 plane is part of the Piper PA-46 family of light aircraft that has been manufactured in Vero Beach, Florida since 1979. For over 40 years, these single-engine planes have been changed, modified, improved, and most importantly, they have persisted through it all. In the aircraft family, we have the Malibu the Malibu Mirage, the Malibu Meridian, the Matrix, the Jet Prop, the High Flyer, and the M-Class. Today, we're going to be focusing on smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, we'll be focusing on this last group of aircraft. And to put it simply, they just took their older Malibu models and they've reclassified them into the M-Class. The numbers after each letter are just the SHP you will get from each of these top-of-the-line aircraft. Yes, this does mean that the M600 has 600 SHP. Speaking of which, this plane is a much-awaited upgrade to the M500 model. The new model has a brand new wing, increased fuel capacity, and the Garmin G3000 system. This is on top of the increased top speed and the increased range. Just like all the planes in the M350, it has anti-hypoxia tools. This is a tool that can be activated in the unlikely event that your pilot should become incapacitated mid-flight. But that's highly improbable, since the majority of the M600s that have been sold from 2016 onward are owner-flown, meaning the people are getting these planes so they can have fun with their friends and family. One of the things that would be good for future owners to know is that the plane burns 350 pounds of fuel in the first hour and then 200 pounds every hour after that. When you take into account that the plane comes equipped with a 260-gallon tank, then the average per hour consumption comes out to 270 pounds per hour of 45 U.S. gallons. There's another inconvenience that owners need to budget for, but we'll talk more about that later. For now, we want to see some of the specs of the plane and compare it to its predecessor, the M500. The range of the M600 is nearly 1,500 nautical miles, which is the equivalent to 2,750 kilometers. This allows you to go from Miami to New York without making refueling stops. For the Europeans, it's the same as going from London to Rome nonstop. Compared to the M500, you get 500 miles of extra flight time. The fuel tank can take 90 gallons more, which allows this plane to reach such extraordinary distances. But this means that the fuel payload is higher as well, standing at 645 pounds compared to the M500's 550 pounds. Don't forget the maximum cruise speed on the M600 is 315 miles per hour or 500 kilometers per hour, which is an increase from the M500, which had a speed of 300 miles per hour. That being said, because this is a 600 SHP plane, the max takeoff weight is 6,000 pounds. This leaves plenty of room for the pilots and the six passengers on board. In fact, there's even room for some luggage on the back of the plane. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the M600 and what it offers in terms of equipment and design. Right off the bat, you can see this plane is very similar to the other models in the PA46 family. The company even goes so far as to describe their M600 as a game changer. This is probably because the aircraft required extensive aerodynamic analysis, 
hundreds of hours of wind tunnel testing, and an additional 1,800 hours of flight testing. The plane has a 1,200-pound payload, which the six people on board get to relax and enjoy their flight. Speaking of the enjoyable flight, Piper has partnered with Garmin and offered the owner a revolutionized flight experience. The instrument panel is fully illuminated for easy operations and improved visibility of the functions. This means that all of the knobs, switches, and gauges are clearly visible, even at night. Aside from this, the new electronics include electronic stability protection, underspeed and overspeed protection, level mode, surface watch, and emergency descent mode. In case the pilot or co-pilot is at a loss of situational awareness, then they can press this blue button and the plane will take over and then return the aircraft to straight level flight. Now, once the pilot is ready to land, the synthetic vision is going to greatly help the pilot in landing the M600 safely. The surface of the Earth seemingly starts to come alive on the screen and the pilot can see everything on the ground below. Side note, when the pilot is landing on an airfield they aren't familiar with, they can activate surface watch. This way, as soon as the pilot exits off the runway, they know exactly where they are in relationship to the airport. Now that we've covered the avionics part of the aircraft in depth, let's talk about the interior design and the cabin where the four passengers will be sitting. Getting inside the aircraft, you use the air stair doors. This allows the passengers to get into a cabin class aircraft in an elegant manner. The doors are located conveniently behind the wings, and speaking of which, the wings have seen a full redesign with special stylized wing tips and an aggressive root structure. Behind are the Fowler flaps and the wings are illuminated with LED lighting and bright red and green position lights. Once you walk up the two steps, you are inside the luxurious M600. There you'll find two sets of redesigned leather chairs facing each other. In between them, there is a stowable armrest. The armrest can be designed to your liking and built from carbon fiber, metal, or wood, all of which are handcrafted by the team at Piper Aircraft. The interior design can be customized according to the customer's wishes, and there are over seven color patterns to choose from. If you're interested in branding, then you'll be thrilled to know that they do custom embroidery and badging on the seats. The veneer and trim finish on the interior only enhance this feeling of luxury. There's plenty of storage area, cup holders for each of the passengers, and an additional six USB charging ports. Kick back and listen to some music by plugging the headphones in the headphone jack. And of course, you can control your above head lighting. It's interesting to note that behind the back seats, there's an additional storage area. The seats fold down and a compartment that can hold about 100 pounds of luggage opens up. This is on top of the outside storage area that you will find near the front. The cabin is roomy and you don't have to worry about leg room. The seats are very soft and comfortable and if you get a little too comfortable, you can just pull the blinds down on the window by your seat and you can wander off to dreamland. And with the 2020 models, buying an M600 will allow you to opt in for the emergency Autoland system created by Garmin. It can be started at the push of a button, so using it is extremely easy. Piper calls this technology Halo, and it's the only one of its kind available on a Piper aircraft. The only other aircraft in general aviation that has it is the Cirrus Vision Jet. The new system will be integrated into the G3000 avionics, and for $170,000, you will not only get extra equipment that comes with the package, but you also get access to over 9,000 runways that are over 4,500 feet or 1,400 meters. Lastly, the inconvenience for new owners we mentioned earlier has to be the fact that each owner has to budget around $130 every hour the plane is in the air. So if you fly for 10 hours, you would need to put $1,300 away. This is to cover the midlife inspection at 1,800 flight hours. And on top of that, there's a $200,000 overhaul after 3,600 hours of flight. But if you value fast travel, this is a small price to pay every 10 years for owning a private plane. Bye for now.